If you're overwhelmed by the thought of creating Instagram Reels for the first time, or you want to make sure your Reels look up to par with everybody else, or you're unfamiliar with Instagram Reels in the first place, you're in the right place. We're going to teach you how to be confident making your own Instagram Reels in no time. Let's get right into it. Now, I do have an Instagram kit that teaches you everything you need to know about monetizing Instagram. Right now we're talking about Reels, but there'll be more info on that little kit later. Let's make our first Reel together. Really quickly, I'm gonna go over the important stuff for us to know as we create our first Reel together. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the Reel interface so you can get really comfortable with it, and then we're gonna go ahead and film our first Reel. And the best way for you to learn is to actually follow along and do the steps with us. All right, so let's open up Reels and show you what it looks like. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the Instagram app, and then we're gonna click on Reels, and then we're gonna go ahead and click the little camera button here on the top right. Now that we're in the Reel interface, there's a couple things I wanna show you. Number one is the length. You can either do a 30 second reel or a 15 second reel. Second thing is the audio. You can see here lots of different audio, including audio that I've saved. And if you ever notice and want to see where people are doing their audio or what their, you know, what their audio they're using, you can simply go to the reel. And on the bottom right here, you can see the audio display. So as we swipe through it, you can see that they're using different audio and what audio they're used is, is displayed on the bottom. If I wanted to save the audio, I could simply click on it and then click the save button, and now I'll save that audio and can use it in future reels. So going back over here, we can go over here to speed. This decides how fast the reel will be as I record it. FX is my favorite. It's where you can use lots of different filters to really just kind of jazz up the way it looks. Here I kind of swipe through some of my favorites. And then finally, we have a timer, which if you wanted to do something, sort of set it up here and use both of your hands, using the timer is a really great way to do that. Set it up here with my mug. I'm gonna click set timer. And then you can see when I click it, So there you have it. That is the interface of Instagram Reels. Now let's film a reel. I'm going to film a very classic reel that I'm sure you've seen before. It's the one where you kind of point to different spots on the screen and the words appear. We're gonna keep it really, really simple for this tutorial. And the topic is going to be around the five things I did to take my business from $0 to over a million. So here we are in Reels, and our first step is to go ahead and pick the uh, time that we wanna do. We wanna do a 30 second Reel. So we're gonna switch it from 15 to 30 seconds. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our audio, and we're gonna go into my saved audio, and we're gonna pick the audio that we just saved a little earlier. And so we're gonna go ahead and choose the part that we want for our Reel. All right, so I got my spot. Next step, I'm gonna click done, and then I'm gonna go ahead and choose my effects. Okay, now I'm gonna pick, okay. Okay, so now I've chosen my filter, and the last step is to go ahead and click the self timer, and then go ahead and film this baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the self timer. I'm gonna choose about three seconds, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go into it. Okay, so now I'm giving myself room at the top, room at the bottom. I know we'll do that when we do the text later. Okay, three, two, one. And there you have it, simple. Now we're gonna edit this baby. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this little circle here on the left, and that's gonna allow me to edit the clip because it's a little long. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this, and then I'm gonna click my little scissors, and I'm just gonna cut the end a little bit here. There we go, I'm gonna click trim, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Now it's shorter. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and click this little white triangle here on the right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add my text. So I'm gonna click the little text thing on the top right here, and I'm gonna start sharing my five points. All right, so the first thing is I didn't quit. Okay, so now I'm resizing it and I'm putting it in a little spot here next to where I'm pointing. I'm gonna kind of watch and see where this, my finger should be pointing to with the second one. We're gonna speed this up because you get the idea. Okay, so now that I've got my five texts added, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the title so people know what it is I'm talking about. And as I do it, I'm gonna be really, really sure to keep in mind that stuff at the top so it doesn't get cut off and so words don't get added onto it. Notice how on camera, as I do it, the reels and the little arrow and the camera actually pop up so I can see how low it needs to be. Super helpful. Okay, so right now things kind of look a little crazy because we have all the text added. Our next step is to make sure that, that the text displays when we want it to display. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on the text, we want to adjust, and then we're gonna trim it. So what I'm doing here is I'm making the title show up at first and only show up at first. Then I'm gonna click on didn't quit. Okay, so I have to keep that to the beat drop basically. This is where it gets a little tedious. All right, so let's go ahead and watch the finished project. First, you can see here, I have the title. And I'm kind of sitting here, I'm kind of waiting and listening to the beat drop. Then I start pointing, didn't quit. 
hired a biz coach, gave value, stayed grateful, and I solved problems. Now we're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done, share to, and next I gotta write a caption. All right, so here's the last thing that's really important for you to see. If you aren't ready, if you film the reel with us, but you aren't ready to share it yet, all you're gonna do is click a little simple, save as draft, and it'll save as draft. Now for me, I don't, I'm ready to go ahead and publish this. You're gonna click on your reels, and then you're gonna click drafts, you're gonna select, and then you're gonna go ahead and share to feed, which I'm gonna do now. And there you have it. Last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some of my saved hashtags. And there's a whole nother world of hashtag strategies, by the way. Um, we're just doing this quick copy and paste thing, but just know there's a whole world of Instagram hashtags. And we're gonna go ahead and add our hashtags. And there you have it. You published your first reel. So that's the practical side of making Instagram reels. Now let's talk about the strategy behind making Instagram reels that get lots of views. Tip number one is to use sounds in your Instagram reels instead of just filming yourself talking. Instagram really likes it when you do that and it will actually not only show that reel to more people when you initially publish the reel, but using other people's sounds will actually allow your video to show up when people search for the same sounds. Now, I'm gonna demo this for you. When I go in and I look at this reel and then I click the original audio, I see all the other people who use this audio. And this is a way for these extra reels to get more views. So if you use one of the sounds that are trending, what people can do is they can actually click on that audio and watch all the videos that use that trending sound and your video will show up. Tip number two, let your reels sit. So don't get discouraged if right away your Instagram reels don't get a ton of views. Our reels actually got more views the second week. So just let your reels sit and collect views. Tip number three, the more reels, the better. If you can do daily, awesome, that's our goal. Right now we're doing about four a week. Right now Instagram is prioritizing reels. And so the more reels you make, the more content they'll push. They're heavily pushing reels on their platform and they're wanting their Instagram people to consume more reels. So the more you push, the more views you'll get. Tip number four, make sure to publish your reels to your feed, not just the reels area. When going to publish your reels, you're gonna see two options, publish to reels or publish to reels and feed. Be sure to go ahead and click that publish to reels and feed. It's gonna get you a lot of engagement because you're gonna be showing it to your audience, people who already know you, and they're gonna be that much more likely to engage with it rather than people who have discovered you for the first time and those people are less likely to engage with you. So be sure to publish to both reels and feed. Tip number five is to use cover photos for your reels. I pulled up a great example of this one here. When I look at her feed, I see all these little covers, all these little thumbnails for her reels. And then when I click it, I can tell that it was a cover for her reel because the graphic really doesn't have anything to do with the video. It's just a great way for her to create some cohesiveness on her feed. It's not the most important thing in the world, but if you like, if you're design oriented, it's a nice little touch. Finally, tip number six, be yourself with the Instagram reels. Don't overthink it. Most people are still kind of figuring out how reels work and it's okay to relax and be yourself. You might not be really comfortable at it right away and that's okay. So just take a deep breath and relax. So these tips are really great as you're looking to grow your following by using Instagram Reels. But then the next question obviously is, how do you monetize Instagram? I've actually created an ultimate guide to making money on Instagram. It's a digital course where I walk you through all the things that I do to make over $100,000 per month. You can get more information about it. It's just $7 by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, if you found it helpful, click the like button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any more of my videos, click that subscribe button.